And uh, thank you very much, uh, Venerable Aluka, <laughs> for your nice introduction. Uh, today we have another important topic to discuss. The light of wisdom. I think indeed this is one of the most important topic to discuss because when we discuss uh, Nibbana non-self, then the topic of the uh, wisdom is very important to discuss in detail. Uh, now the in Buddhism, the attainment of Nibbana only achieved through the attainment of the wisdom. Mm -hmm. So now we can understand that the topic mm -hmm. like the light of wisdom is how important. It is unbiased adjustment. We also can uh, explain that wisdom is uh, uh, wisdom is uh, based on duality, duality adjustment, based on uh, free from the duality concept. So, how do we say the unbiased or unduality? Because uh, when we say something bias, that means we take partial. There is a partiality. But uh, when is there is unbiased, there is no partiality. There is the there is no discrimination, but there is a reality. And when we say that Nibbana is free from duality, that means uh, it is free from any kind of doubt or concept. Now, the most important part is the achievement of Nibbana. And we all know that uh, the, through achievement of, to, in order to achieve the Nibbana, we have to attain the wisdom. Now, how can we attain the wisdom? In order to attain the wisdom, first we have to go through the process, sila, samadhi, and prajna. Now, we all know that the sila combined with samadhi, then we achieve the wisdom. Therefore, we can see the Categorically, the wisdom actually put into the final, final, final level. Wisdom come last. So, right understanding and right thought. Right understanding and right thought. These two categories, the two parts are categorized under wisdom. And now the question is, what is the right understanding? Now the, why do you say right understanding is that uh, the understanding of the whole noble truth Dukkha, Dukkha Samudaya, Niruda, and Magga. 
so suffering cause of suffering emancipation of suffering and the path so by following the path we achieve wisdom now if anyone penetrate the four noble truth if anyone can understand that the dukkha as it is if anyone understand that the cause of suffering as they are if anyone under, understand that there is a way to liberate from suffering and if anyone understand that there is part the leading from the suffering so this is called right understanding in addition to this point we have another point it says if anyone has penetrated that there is a good result for all some action and if there is anyone understand that there is the bad result for unwholesome action if there is rebirth and cause of rebirth the person who penetrated or understand that so he that mean he achieved the wisdom so he has no doubt about four noble truth he has no doubt about rebirth he has no doubt about amma he has no doubt about about the nibbana because he is free from such kind of doubt then he achieve the wisdom then we have the right thought here the right thought actually uh has categorized into three we call the nekamma sankappa the thought of renunciation about the nibbana because so, he is free from such kind of doubt the person who has uh, the thought i i'm talking about nekamma sankappa i mean that the thought of renunciation the person who has endowed with the thought of renunciation that means he want to renounce the life so in dhammapada they have uh, very nicely elaborated that about the the thought of the renunciation coming from home to the homeless the wise man should abandon dark estates and cultivate the bright he should seek great delight in the detachment or nibbana so hard to enjoy giving up sensual pleasures with no impediment the wise man should cleanse himself of the impurities of the mind so uh, this is the uh, right example or right explanation of the nikama sankappa that uh, how a wise man uh, give up his home home life to homeless life and lead a simple life in order to attain the ultimate truth we call either we call wisdom or nibbana then we have the another uh, called uh, abhyapada sankappa so abhyapada sankappa is uh, the opposite of ill will ill will mean when you have the such kind of blame jealousy so is partly ill will then we have the abhihimsa sankappa which is opposed to 
duality. That means uh, Abhijita Sankapa is kindness about the compassion, loving kindness, uh, about the loving kindness for oneself and others. Now we can see that the, the Buddha, he has uh, renounced uh, his uh, happy family life. He gave up all this life in order to achieve the wisdom as well as in order to practice the Abhinja Samkappa. This means the compassion for all living beings. Because he had realized that only by giving up his happy family and worldly life, and if he achieve the wisdom or the Nibbana, then he can also help others to achieve the wisdom and Nibbana as well. Thank you very much for your listening.